What is going on guys, Andrew Savita here back with another NHL trade deadline video. And this is the last of the trade deadline videos. This is going to be overall just reviewing the trades and of what happened today. A lot of trades. Um, not the block. We didn't get any blockbusters. We didn't get a Johnny Gujarro trade, which we all thought was going to happen when he left practice early. No, he just had to take a PP, which is funny. Uh, we did not get a Carey Price. We did not get a Heinrich Lundqvist trade. No, we did not get a Chris Kreider trade. That's been rumored for months. He got a contract extension for seven years, eight years of six point five million dollars. But we did get some. We got some trades that will impact teams' playoff standings and if they're just a first round elimination to a cup contender we're gonna start with last night's trade with Ilya Kovacic going to the Washington Capitals in exchange for a third round pick Capitals are deepening they're already deep team they've been struggling a little bit they beat they beat the Pens yesterday but Capitals have been you know they lost the first place spot to Penguins they regained it last night but you know the Capitals are deepening deepening their forward core and they do a few more moves later in the day First trade of today was Mike Green going to Edmonton Oilers for Kyle Brozerak and a conditional fourth round pick. They are also getting 50% retention on Mike Green's contract. Colorado gets Nemes Stankinoff from the Ottawa Centers for a fourth round pick. Again, Colorado playoff team deepening their lines. Uh, Nemes Stankinoff, good two way forward, great on the penalty kill. You know, top penalty kill of Colorado, who already has a nice, they have a good top six, their bottom six, a little, little bleak. They go out and add. Nemes Tankinoff for a fourth. Uh, is this the block first? Yep, this is probably the first big one to happen this morning. The New York Islanders go acquire Gene Gabrielle Pajot from the Ottawa Senators for a conditional first round pick, a SEC 2020 conditional first round pick, a conditional 2022nd, and a conditional 2022 third round pick. The first round pick shifts to a 21, 2021 first round pick if the, pe the Islanders pick lands in the top three this season. The 2022nd, uh, the 2022 third round pick will transfer to the Ottawa Senators if the Islanders win the Stanley Cup this season. I don't see that happening, so it'll just be the first and the second. Pajot, he got an extension of six years at 5.5 .5 for Pajot. Decent, oh, not over, oh, paid decently after that. Moving on, we have the second. We got to continue with the solid moves. Vince Trocek gets traded from the Florida Panthers to the Calor Carolina Hurricanes. I'll say Colorado for Eric Holla, Lucas Waldman, Ito Lestrainen, and Chase Prisky. Defenseman Prosek and uh, Lestrange defenseman, and the other two saw NHL time. Trocek goes to Carolina. Carolina bulked up for their playoff run. We got here the Flyers go get Nate Thompson for a fifth round pick. Again, Flyers just trying to th straighten their bottom six. Nothing really to talk about there. We talked about the pens in the two pen trades in another video. Be sure to check those out. Toronto Maple Leafs, the only trade they made of the day, did not trade Tyson Berry, but they reacquired Callie Rosen for Michael Hutchinson from the Colorado to the Colorado Avalanche. I guess the, they got a deep, they got a body on the defensive core. Not, you know, I thought they'd trade Berry. I guess they're just saying the core they have, suck it up and try to win. Stop sucking. You lost to a 42-year-old Zamboni driver. Flyers again got some more depth and acquired Derek Grant from Anaheim for Kyle Frisco in a fourth round pick. Again, bottom six forward, center, nice move for Philly, deepening the core. The Buffalo Sabres acquire Wayne Simmons for a conditional fifth round pick. The conditional fifth it will turn into a fourth if the Sabres make the playoffs and or Wayne and Simmons plays 10 games. The Devils also retain 50% of Simmons' $5 million contract, moving it to 2.5. Sabres trade two forwards to Pittsburgh and then they bring in... Wayne Simmons, it doesn't make any sense. A couple underachieving trade where the Boston Bruins acquired Nick Ritchie in, a, in exchange for Dan and Heinen. And underachiever for underachiever, Boston gets some young depth after making the trade for Andre Kasha the other day. Montreal and Ottawa. Montreal acquires Aaron Lukchuk and a seventh round pick for Matthew Pekka. I guess they're just young players. I've never heard of, honestly, I'm sorry, never heard of either of them. Don't think that's going to matter because Ken's and the Sens are not in the playoffs. Edmonton goes out and get Andres Athanasiu and Ryan Kuffner for Sam Gagne and two second round picks. Edmonton tries to get some depth for Dreisaitl and McDavid for anyone else to score on that team. I don't know where he'll fit in. Maybe he'll fit on that second line left wing. Maybe he'll play with McDavid. Maybe they'll move Dreisaitl down. Who knows? But nice little move for Edmonton. 
And then Edmonton continues to grab some depth while they acquire Tyler, Tyler Ennis from Ottawa for a fifth round pick. And this is actually having a pretty solid season this year. I don't know the exact stats. I kind of I know he's having a good season and for that I said it, so I do gotta like kinda Tyler Ennis. I know he had a good year a couple years ago with the Leafs. I heard he's having a really good year in Ottawa, which is if you're not you're in Ottawa, you're pretty much rolling him and Pajot. In 61 games, 33 points, 14 goals, 19 assists. Again, good de good depth piece for Edmonton. For anyone else on that team that could score besides Connor McDavid, who came back last night. Derek Forbeth was traded from the Kings to the Flames for a conditional fourth round pick. Flames actually got a couple defensemen trying to get back in that playoff hunt. Penguins trade we talked about in the other video. Amelia DeJuice for a sixth round pick. Cool. I got never heard of him. Uh, again, here's Car Car uh, Carolina qu acquires another defenseman, Sammy Vatanen from the Devils, for a Yan cooking. Kekanian in a second round pick, a defensive and a second round uh, prospect in a second round pick for Sam Vent. I know I think he's a UFA at the end of the season. Probably the biggest and probably most impactful trade for a team that's going to be either a first round elimination or a potential Stanley Cup champion. The Vegas Golden Knights acquire goaltender Robin Leonard from Chicago for an exchange from Malcolm Subban and a defensive prospect Slava Demon. Let Vegas needed a goalie. Flower had a, had a rough season for them. Subban has been terrible. They have great forwards. Leonard coming off a great season in the Islanders. That's had a decent season here and had a decent season in Chicago. Vegas goes out and gets their goaltender, trying to solidify their crease. I like the trade for Vegas. Vegas got better today. I think they're not as weak as they would thought because they were depending on Flower. Now they can go Flower with Leonard. Devin Shore gets traded for Sony Milano from traded from Anaheim to Columbus in exchange for Sony Milano going to Ana, uh, Anaheim. I always hear about Sonny Milano. Good, good depth pieces. Uh, moving on to the last couple trades here, we got a one block, a pretty big trade for the Rangers again. Carolina grabbing another defenseman, acquiring Brady Shea from the New York Rangers and acquire and it's just exchange for a first round pick. Rangers get a pick. I don't think they're making the playoffs. I know I have a lot of Ranger friend, Ranger fan friends who think they're going to get in the playoffs. They will not. If they are, they're just a first round elimination. Keep the tank. We got keep the rebuild going. You guys have shown some promise. You signed Chris Kreider. I mean, you guys are excited for Chris Kreider. Like, come on. But Aaron's a beast. Don't get me wrong. Sorokin, who sadly got injured in a car accident with, uh, what was it, Bushnovich, uh, Pavel Bushnovich, and Sorokin got injured. I think he had one out of bruise rib, and Bushnovich was fine, but uh, Sorokin got injured. But uh, you're a year or two away. You're a year or two away. You know, chill out. <laughs> Uh, Louis Domingue was traded from the Devils to the Canucks in exchange for goaltending flip for Zane McIntyre. Cool. The worst overpayment that makes the Pens look like they didn't overpay. The Tampa Bay Lightning acquire Barclay Goodrum for a first-round pick. A guy that doesn't even have 10 goals was traded for a first-round pick. What is Tampa? I think Tampa Bay is going nuts. Everybody makes fun of the Penguins for overpaying. That is... The definition of an overpayment. Uh, Matt Irwin was traded from the from the National Predators to Anaheim for, I guess, a defensive prospect, Corbin Zoom Holzer. I don't know. Washington continues this last two a uh, couple of trades. Well, I, guess, I guess some more came in because that's a, that's a new one. Oh, a couple more have come in. Cool. So maybe it's gonna be a longer. Uh, the trade that hurts me a lot. <laughs> the Anaheim Ducks trade Daniel Sprung to the Washington Capitals for Christian Kajus. I know it, and you're gonna say, I know I'm saying it now. He's gonna come back and bite the Penguins in the playoffs. Penguins trade him to Anaheim for Marcus Pedersen. He underachieved there. Now he's going to go to Washington to deepen up their lines. Daniel Sprung is going to come back and hurt the Pens. I know it. Nick Cousins was traded from Montreal, like I said in the Pen video. I guess this was the Montreal trade. Montreal trades Nick Cousins to Vegas. Vegas are pretty much trades for traded Cody Egan. So this is a Cody Egan replacement for a fourth round pick. Cool. Uh, at least any, at least any of these new trades. There's only two new trades. I have n never heard of anybody involved, but. Uh, Arizona acquires, oh god, how do you say his name? Marcus Henneken for a conditional seventh. Cool. Uh, I've never heard. And then uh, the Flyers acquire Nathan Knoll for TJ Brendan from Chicago. Um, again, Flyers continue to deepen their lines. Overall, we did not get a Tyson Berry trade. That was, we all thought, at least, thought they would trade their U UFA at the end of the season. They, re they did re sign Jake Muzzin six years at 5.5. I think it, I, don't, I want to get this right. I want to get both the. Uh, I think it's probably on here. Uh, probably CSN doesn't have a back. 
I think it's 5.5, 5, but let me just pull it up here. Uh, he has a new 5.6.25 for four more years. I know Jean Jack Pajot just got a new day. I think I think I was right. Six six years at 5.5. Jean. Whatever. So they, 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 it's six years at 5.5. Um, but yeah, we did not get a Tyson Berry trade. We didn't get a Johnny Gaudreau trade. That was pretty funny. But uh, it was a decent trade deadline. Uh, we'll go to TSN trade bait. Who was their... I think Tyson Berry was number one on their trade bait list that was not traded. Uh, here you go. Pulling up TSN trade bait who was not traded. Uh, if my Wi-Fi would work. Yeah, Chris Kreider. Not traded. Resigned with the Rangers. Uh, Sammy Batten, Tyson Berry was traded. Nemes Stankton was traded. Derek Grant was... Dustin Bufflin was not traded. Jesper Foss was not traded. Mike Hoffman was not traded. Joe Thornton was not traded. Uh, just trying to... I'm going through their top... Brandon Saad was not. Tyson Joes, Jimmy VC, Kyle Palmieri. Those are most of the big names that weren't traded. Uh, Kasperi Ka Matt Dumba, Kasparic Kapanen. At least with the least kind of falling, I guess Dumba's trade potential tradeability kind of went down once the least kind of sucked. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. The big names: um, Jeff Petrie, uh, Rasmus. Again, the Rasmus was line and trade rumors came up the other day. And still isn't still a part of the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Brady Shea was traded. Josh Manson. Elias Anderson still has not been traded from the Rangers. But overall, pretty solid trade deadline. Nothing major, but a lot of important trades were made. Debt pieces. Teams that are trying to contend bolstered up. Teams that try to sell sold. Some teams didn't make the moves. Again, the Rangers, I think that's going to hurt trying to. Re I mean, Kreider's a very solid player, but $6.5 million for eight years? You know, you got to sign some of your young cores besides that, but. Oh, see, Jimmy's text me. Okay, no, something happens. It's probably these two small interests. But, uh, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna end it here. If anything else breaks late, uh, there will be another video. But this will be the last video, barring any blockbusters. This will be the last trade. <laughs> this is the last trade. But you thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment. Subscribe for more. T talk to me. Tell me what do you think of the initial trade down there. And I will see you guys in the next video.